Hello, my name is Wendy Love Edge, and I'd like to welcome you to the Bulldozer Health Show. In this episode, I'll be speaking with Dr. Ozane from Ozane Family Chiropractic in Fayetteville, Arkansas. Dr. Ozane is a wellness expert and chiropractor. Welcome, Dr. Ozane. It's good to be here. I'm happy to be on the show and glad that you invited me on to, to do this interview. So excited. So, Dr. Ozane, I have a chiropractor story that kind of goes along with my journey to taking back my health. Um, one of the first alternative health modalities that I investigated to improve my health was chiro chiropractic. And I was coming off of a lot of pharmaceutical drugs and had been diagnosed with psoriatic arthritis, some cardiac disease, all kinds of things. And through my investigation, I realized how much I thought chiropractic could help me. So I sought out a chiropractor, and he, uh, in, in the first visit, and when he did his evaluation, he explained to me the deformity in my spine and how pharmaceutical drugs were not going to ever fix that. What are your thoughts about that? Man, I, that's one of my passions, what I love helping people with, is helping them understand that no pill or drug will ever help actually solve your problem. I mean, you think about many of them come with all these different side effects. Mm -hmm. One of the number one prescribed medications right now is antipsychotics and antidepressants. And what they're finding is these have huge side effects, like for example, um, suicidal homicidal tendencies, which I think if many people are aware of, they'd be like, oh no, I'm definitely not gonna take that, not gonna turn mm -hmm. to that for my solution. Uh, even you know, antidepressants causing more depression. And uh, you know, it's it's never been a lack of medication that you know causes someone he someone's headache. I mean, you think about it; it's not a lack of Tylenol or Advil is mm -hmm. the reason why you have a headache, or a lack of um, you know uh, the the little purple pill that's causing someone to have like acid reflux. Mm -hmm. And so, if it wasn't the cause, how could it ever be a solution? And I think that's great that you know that's one of the first things that he talked about and discussed with you at that point. Well, it's interesting that you brought that up because one of the projects that Bulldozer Health is working on is to get pharmaceutical drug ads off of television mm -hmm. because they're so pervasive in everybody's ear and, and in their eyes every day if they watch television or listen to the radio or open a magazine. Um, and in particular, we have a petition on change.org to actually remove pharmaceutical advertising for psychiatric drugs because for a long time there's been this big lie out there that there's a chemical imbalance. So how would you address that in your, um, in your work with chiropractic and the wellness work that you mm -hmm. do rather than using pharmaceuticals? Great question. Um, and, and what it boils down to, you know, why we turn to the medications and why I think it's great that you guys are getting these advertisements off of the TV is most people, unfortunately, base their health on, on how they feel. And this has become a big problem because it's all about what thing can fix me. You know, mm -hmm. how can I feel better in the moment, but all the while people's bodies are continuing to deteriorate and we're not addressing the underlying cause of the issue. You know, just for example with the antipsychotics and antidepressants, what they found when it comes to this hormonal imbalance and the problem with these antipsychotics is they're treating the, what they consider the chemical imbalance in the brain when in fact over 80% of the serotonin is actually produced in the gut. Mm -hmm. And so they're overlooking how much a role the digestive tract has on your mood and, and your hormonal balance. And so what we do with a lot of people when they come into our office is we start with the source and that's, that's the nervous system. That's the master control system and unfortunately it gets overlooked or kind of pushed to the side mm -hmm. because we, we get so focused on the, the symptom is here. Oh, I have a headache well, or I have foot pain or I have elbow pain and we focus in on that area versus so much of the body is, is this nerve flow, this channel that starts in the brain, goes down the spinal cord, and then it comes out the nerves and goes to all different parts of your body. And so while you might have pain here or a visceral problem here, uh, that doesn't necessarily mean the cause of the problem is directly related there. That's why we start with the nervous system, because if the brain is what controls your heart beating, your lungs breathing, your stomach digesting, your food, that to me would be the first place that you have to start. And why anyone that comes into our office 
we're looking there first. So we look at the spine because the spine is what surrounds and protects that information highway. So in order for your body to work properly, the spine has to be in that normal position, mm -hmm. protecting the spinal cord, protecting the nerves to allow everything to function properly. And when it's there, when it's in that normal position, so like when you look at your back, it needs to be straight. And when you look at it from the side, there has to be those curves, one in the neck, one in the mid-back, one in the low-back. If it's normal like that, then we know your body's functioning properly. The problem's not related there. But what we find in so many people is they have this condition called subluxation. And so that's where the spine, instead of being normal, will shift out of position. And that shifting of the bones will compromise the nerve system, will interfere with the body's ability to function properly. So for example, if I have subluxation in the base of my neck and I'm putting pressure on the nerves there, that's going to cause neck pain. Mm -hmm. But what people don't realize is that chiropractic is so much deeper than that. I mean, when you think of chiropractic, it's usually neck pain, headaches, low back pain, carpal tunnel syndrome. Sure. But what I'm an expert in in my office. Now, I'm not good, very good at like helping people with, for example, fibromyalgia. Some chiropractors are, I'm not, but I'm an expert at helping like with asthma allergy issues. Mm -hmm. That's a big one we see in our office. And if those nerves in the lower part of the neck are crushed, those are the ones that come out, for example, into the chest cavity and innervate the lungs. And so a lot of people that have asthma allergy-like symptoms, when those nerves get irritated, that will cause the body to overreact to a normal stimulus and have those asthma or allergy-like symptoms. Very now, we also deal with people um, with digestive problems. So, you know, irritable bowel syndrome, Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis. And so if those nerves in the lower part of the back are compressed, and those are the nerves that feed into the, like for example, large intestine, that's gonna cause digestive problems. Mm -hmm. And a big part of that, again, so like with depression, if you have nerve compromise and that the digestive system is the thing that creates your serotonin, that's going to cause a lot of mood problems, malabsorption issues. And so that's where we see a lot of people come in with our office with that depression or these other digestive problems. Mm -hmm. And just by addressing the nervous system, we see their symptoms improve drastically. And then from there, when that's clear, then we can also address some of the other things like how is your, di you know, your, your nutrition? Uh, are you exercising properly? And so it's, it's a well-rounded approach, but starting with the most important system in the body, which is the nervous system. Well, that was a fantastic description and just made me think of something that I feel like I'm saying all the time like a broken record. Your body knows how to heal itself. And when you put it in the right conditions, yep. which is what you're talking about, then it can rally and do what it needs to do. Do you find that when people come to you, they start to understand that over time? And that, that is one of the biggest barriers that we face is what I consider called the subluxation between the ears. <laughs> um, and, and that's where helping people to understand that what they've been given, our bodies are amazing and mm -hmm. can heal from anything. I mean, there's not been one thing on this planet that the human body hasn't overcome. Now, there's plenty of people that have unfortunately passed away from a lot of these diseases, but there's a slew of examples of people overcoming what doctors consider incurable diseases, cancer, uh, AIDS, uh, Crohn's disease, mm -hmm. also, I mean, you know, so yeah, it's, it's helping break through those barriers, helping people to overcome their limiting beliefs, and then recognizing that, you know what, yeah, I can heal, I can be healthy, I have what I need. It's just taking the right steps, the right necessary measures, um, because they've shown that 98% of disease that we see today um, chronic lifestyle diseases, and researchers call these diseases for dummies, uh, and the reason they do that is because it's all lifestyle related. And mm -hmm. so if you change your lifestyle, you give your body what it needs to be healthy, to be vital, you can be healthy. Right, exactly. Um, you know, lifestyle is vitally important, and having people move from the belief that when they go to see a health practitioner they're going to do something to them that will change their body. There is some truth to that with what you're doing, but the rest of it is really up to them. People who become empowered in their health get better, Yep. Um, despite what they've been told perhaps by the mainstream medical system, in my experience anyway. So thank you so much for joining us. Absolutely. Well, thanks for having me, and I really appreciate everything that you're doing to create awareness and helping people to, to feel empowered. And just even your story is, it's amazing. I mean, you know, the, you. The, the fact that you came from 
the, the pit, uh, what mm. people would consider, like uh, many doctors, I think, probably considered you a done, done deal, mm -hmm. wrapped up, can't help you. But your journey, you're like, heck no, I'm not going to take that for an answer. Finding, <laughs> finding out that, yeah, that's, uh, that's awesome. I'm Inspiration. Glad, I'm glad that you, that you got that. I recently, I had a reporter write, which I didn't know he was going to write this. He said, just try and stop Wendy Lovett. And I thought, wow, he really gets it. <laughs> you yep. know? So, and I want other people to be that way too, to be the bulldozer in their life. Bulldozer Health Incorporated is a 501c3 nonprofit organization and healthcare reform initiative. You can find us at bulldozerhealth.org. Take back your health, America.